Okay, now we get to use one of the most famous formulas that uh, has a lot more uh, <laughs> nuisance than what I ever expected. Um, the statement reads, a positive charge Q is fired head on at a distance uh, pos at a distant positive charge big Q, which is held stationary. With an initial velocity V0, it comes in and decelerates to V equals zero and returns back out to infinity. So we have little charge coming in, it feels big Q, and then returns back out after it uh, has an inflection with V equals zero. So what fraction of its initial energy, one-half mv naught squared, is radiated away? Okay, notice that the energy here is in the form of kinetic. Assume that v naught is much less than C, and that you can safely ignore the effect of radiated losses, as we saw last question, on the motion of the particle. Okay, very small with the radiated losses. What we need to know is the Lamour formula for power radiated, which is P is equal to mu naught, Q squared, A squared over 6 pi uh, C. Again, this all comes from before we were dealing with things like dipole moments. Now we're dealing with point charges. So this point charge is going to be a pain in our butt for the rest of the chapter. So let's dive in. All right, so the solution for this, we need to know uh, what we need is we know that the power radiated relies on the square of acceleration as, as told by the uh, Lamar formula. So we can find the acceleration from the force law and substitute it into the power equation. So if that's the case, we know what the force of one charge has on its other via Coulomb's law, Q1, Q2, the distance, again, we're assuming is shot in the x direction just for sake of clarity. Uh, and that tells us that we are equal to ma via force law. So solve for a, we get a little q, big q over 4 pi epsilon naught m over 1 over x squared. So we'll just let k equal the constants there just for the sake of pushing everything through. All right. Um, so then the power radiated is equal to uh, the rate of change of the energy radiated. But we know that the power radiated is mu naught Q squared A squared or over 6 pi C. Okay, so if we plug in the A that we found, we get K over X squared squared. So that tells us we have K squared over X to the fourth. Now, if we want the total, now if we want the ratio for the energy, we have omega, or not omega, wr for the energy is uh, when we integrate from negative infinity to infinity over dt, okay? Well, we know that this is, looks like it's a symmetrical situation, so we take all the constants out front, and we double it, and we put x naught there, wherever x naught is closest approach, I believe. Yep. Uh, note that dt, we don't have any time dependencies here, but we know that uh, dt is relating the position via the velocity. So what we get here as a substitution is uh, V is equal to dx over dt. So we solve for dt, and that gives us dx over V, and that's what we substitute in. Now, what the, what the ramifications of this is, uh, this is the energy radiated, and it should be twice that the radiated on the way out because it has to come in and come out, okay? Which we, the book talks about in a little bit of, uh, a little bit of commenting. Um, but nonetheless, conservation of energy, ignoring the radiative losses, suggests that the original energy, kinetic of course, is equal to the energy after plus the potential energy of the um, charge interaction. Okay, if that's the case, multiply everything by 2 and divide by m, and we get v naught squared equal v squared plus 2 uh, big Q little q over 4 pi epsilon naught m 1 over x. Okay, again, use the same Q or K constant substitution there. And we see that um, we have V naught squared, once we solve for it, is equal to V naught squared minus 2K over 1 over X. And now we know that the closest approach happens when V equals 0. So all we're trying to do with this conservation is set up to find what X naught is. X naught has to be the closest approach, and that happens when V naught is 0 because it has to turn away. Okay, so we solve this thing for x naught, which gives us 2k over v naught squared. Now we can finally evaluate the integral. Okay, we also find what v is, or v naught is here. Um, so, uh, or yeah, excuse me, what v is here. So we plug that in, and we see that we get v naught squared minus 2k over x. We also see what x naught is, so we get a double whammy there. We won't plug an x naught into the integral, into the integral limit, just because it's going to be messy. 
but let the integral apply through ESC that um, we're going to have to evaluate very carefully. Um, you see we get x naught to the 5 halves power, so be aware that that is gross. Um, yeah, and then move it through. Use your algebra skills and uh, clean up nicely. And then uh, keep plugging through. You get a couple of radicals there. So you get uh, square root of 2k to the 6th, which that will cancel out nicely. Uh, you see that goes to 2k to the 3rd. We can factor out the k uh, factors, k squared factors in the numerator. We also know that t or 2 cubed is 8, so we see the cancellation of 8 there. And then we can just factor in uh, 1 over k, since that's what's left over after simplifying. And that's why we have 4 pi epsilon naught m in the numerator and little q big q in the denominator. That all comes from that substitution. Again, follow the color coordination that makes our lives easy. Cancel away what's needed. And then if we're trying to find a ratio now, uh, we take the radiated energy and then the initial energy and take their ratio. Okay, radiated energy. Uh, we substitute in, I believe, for... Um, no, I lied. We keep... Uh, yeah, so we have an epsilon naught mu naught. And instead of going... Uh, instead of putting in what C is... We recombine mu naught, epsilon naught into C squared, and that's what we see in the red denominator in the next step. Uh, one half time, when we when we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the, the reciprocal. So that's where we get 16 in the numerator. That comes from that one half joining. The mass can mass and uh, velocity terms cancel, at least to some extent. And uh, we just have one more round of simplification after we cancel everything. And we see that the final ratio is 16q over 45 big Q, all with v naught over c cubed. So the ratio. And, uh, you know, with that ratio, if v naught is much less than c, that's going to be a very tiny ratio. So, you know, be aware that the initial energy is not going to be, uh, you know, crazily affected with the radiation. Uh, yeah, pretty cool.